Welcome back, everyone, to the Hot Mix, an Instratech podcast. I'm Anthony. And I'm Reese. And today we are bringing you one of my favorites. Yeah. The MyGage app. Yes, and MyGage, built, just released on the iOS store, the App Store, and we are excited about this app. I think you're going to find a ton of great stuff built specifically for our nuclear gauges, the Explorer 2 and the MC3 Elite. Ooh. So we are ready to kind of show everybody what we've been working on for the last uh, few months. So one of my favorite features is the map locator. It actually allows you to map all your uh, nuclear gauge shots. Mm -hmm. Oh, shots. Oh, yeah. Did you say it? Did you um, spray it? So it allows you to map all your uh, nuclear gauge testing uh, on the on the app, see where you were, uh, go back and see each and every location, and then gather all the information from day's work and also create a PDF Hold app on. with it. Can I get this straight? Yes. So I'm taking shots out in the field. Well, yeah, tests, oh, results. Yeah. Right. I'm taking tests <laughs> okay. out in the field. Yeah. I wanted to just take shots again, but you didn't hit me. Oh, okay, sorry. No big we can do that. Yeah, shots. Do it. There we go. All right, we're taking awesome. shots. Cool. So. I'm taking some tests yeah. in the field. Yeah, you're taking tests. Yeah. And I can go back and I can look at each one of them sequentially. Yeah, absolutely. In fact, and it maps I'm going to do one better. I got the phone right here. Let's go ahead and dive into it. Like and I we will show say, you. Always prepare. All right. So what we're going to do here is get back to the app. The first thing is gonna, you're going to do is you're going to connect to your gauge, right? So we have a gauge off camera here that we can connect to. It's going to try to find it. There oh, we go. Bang. Bang. So now, five. yeah. Appears, we click on that, okay. and now we're connected to the app. Now we can start using the application for this particular gauge. Oh, yeah. It brings us right to the project, right? So when you're getting ready to set up in the morning, you want to maybe put in your project details. That way, when you do your PDF reporting, you're ready to go. It has all your details in there. So number of things you can put in there, your company's information, if you want, your uh, client's information, <laughs> all their uh, address and, and name of the company, yeah. and then finally, your uh, project information. Oh, so awesome. We give you five lines, uh, plenty of uh, room to put just about any details about the project projects into the uh, report. I love it. And then any report information you need to do. Ooh, select company logo. That's right. Nice. So you can select your company's logo, put it in there so it looks very professional when you send it, uh, whether to your own company or uh, to your client. And then you save and delete. Luckily, we already have some uh, save projects on here. And we're going to start with uh, our demo project number two. One of the things I love about this, once you're ready to go and, and move forward, you hit uh, save down here, right? Oh. And it brings you right to your testing results, right? So at this point, you already start using the gauge in the field. You can put this back uh, in your pocket or, or have it out and review all your test results. The nice thing is we have just your basic needs for your tests. You can show Ooh. more information, and then you have a lot more data you got it all. on there. Yeah, so this is great. Andy, this is really great for if you're trying to troubleshoot the gauge, you're trying to make sure you have constants at that depth. Battery, who doesn't need to know what the battery in the gauge is, right? How often do you go out there, maybe you're a little low on battery, you need to get a charger so you can hook up to a charger, you know where you are with your battery voltage. And then uh, gauge location, again, this one can tell you, show you kind of where you're at uh, as far as what the gauge is, is Man, reading. This, so. is, this is pretty much perfection Yeah. in the app world. Yeah, well, it's it's pretty pretty nicely built. Uh, again, all for the iPhone now, ready to go and uh, ready to start using. I have so many questions. Okay, well, let's get into it. Yep. <laughs> Sorry, I thought you had a question. My bad. Let's keep going then. Uh, we also have a camera function. So if you want to take a picture, let's say there's our crew. A uh, good looking crew, huh? Cool. Yeah, take them. I'm going to take a picture of them. All right. And then that'll attach to the project that you're on. So after you get that, you move down and then that'll show your picture. Where Very you're nice. At. Yeah. And then finally, we go into review. If you want to see where all your uh, locations are, you open, open maps, and there you go. You got a day's, your Look day's work. Look at that. Yeah, you got the day's work right in your hand there. So after you do all your shots, let's say you want to review them, you can click on the down button here. Here's all your all your tests. Oh, yeah. You can flip to one, and it'll show you when that test was done. Oh, you can even hit next if you yeah, want. Yeah, absolutely. You can hit next bang, this way and show you bang, go through all bang. the tests. And then finally, zoom out and see where you were. And if you had a number of projects you're working on, you want to jump back and forth, you can quickly see that. And then it gives you even more information down here uh, for the for the gauge, uh, location, depth, uh, your wet, dry density. Basically, all the information that the technicians need on the spot, your app is reporting to you in a very nice format, mm -hmm. very easy to use, very intuitive uh, type of uh, type of app to very easily get through. So anybody can start picking this up. Again, it's available right now at the App Store. We're gonna put up the QR code to get you to that to the app to download. Mm -hmm. Anybody that has an Explorer 2 is uh, has this available now on their phone. So Love that's, that. uh, that's, that's basically uh, the walkthrough of the app, yeah. Man, I wish I could ask some really good questions as a developer, though. Yeah, yeah you know? Wait, hold on. I got an idea. You do? Yeah. Okay.
Oh, hey guys. Hey, there you go. Oh, there he is. This is us. Welcome. Do a shot? Yeah, yeah. let's get into it. Yeah. Welcome to the Hot Mix, Pranav. Thank you. So this is uh, Pranav. He's our uh, uh, app developer. Uh, He's been with the company uh, a few months and really got into the uh, iOS app and really made it what it is now. Absolutely. So we thought we'd have him on and have uh, a good conversation with him on maybe some of the questions you had for him, Anthony. Yeah, I think, I think, I had some questions coming in, but now I have even more questions. So now you're really in trouble. Perfect, yeah. So the first thing I wanted to know is, just because from the design process, I know that there's a lot that goes into it. Mm -hmm. What would you say was the most challenging feature or maybe your most favorite feature to work on implementing? My favorite feature and the challenging feature was definitely the map kit. Integrating the maps was a real challenge. You know, always I was thought like, what would be like a really uh, intuitive way of Mm -hmm. showing the user you know, that where they have taken the shots or the readings and how could they navigate around these. So, you know, I took a lot of time and then I came up with a plan and then I implemented this. Awesome. And it came out really beautiful. And I hope everyone loves it. Yeah. And yeah, it's both supported in both light mode and dark mode. So even if a technician is working out late in the night or in the evening, they can easily see all that. That's awesome. Great feature. And I mean, certainly for someone like me who might be out in the field just demoing. So it's all about efficiency in the field. Yeah. Absolutely. And, and uh, you know, I think you took the reporting capability and just yes. augmented it from, from yeah. where we were. We did have a, we always had an app for the Explorer, right? right? right. It was an Android app. Uh, and we kind of built off of that what we have now. Mm-hmm. So tell me a little bit about what you did uh, additional for the reporting part of it. What, what, yeah. uh, what other... Uh, I guess features that you do for reporting. Yeah, definitely. In this app, it's all about saving time. We want to cut down the manual work that the technician has to do instead of writing down on the paper. They want to do it everything on their phone. So what I did was uh, I kind of added the functionality to create a PDF. So when you take the readings, they get added into the project. And once they get added into the project, you have an option to select them or deselect them. So if you select them and then just with one click of a button, if you when you click on email PDF, okay. you can send it out to your manager or send it out to your supervisor and it's, it's going to be uh, delivered into their mailbox in a second. So yeah. full transparency from the project manager onto the actual. Yeah, job. which is which is kind of what we've been talking about so much over yep. all these podcasts this year, right, is really now uh, the, the flow of information is so easy. It's mm-hmm. in your hand. It's in your fingertips. And it's people like Pranav that, that work with our engineering team, that work with the product team, and then us to get the word out about this this t- type of technology that really is benefiting the customer and letting them kind of become, you know, uh, one step uh, quicker in, in getting uh, test results. But when you do it in such a, a nice app, in such a clean way, it, it just makes fun also to work yeah. with the app, right? It, yeah. I think this app is really cool. I, I love the way everything just is well thought out, well laid out. So uh, great job, Pranav. I, I really love what you did with it. Yeah. And it, it's really a, a great iOS app. It is. I think, I think it's really exciting for the customers. And I think it's certainly exciting for us to be able to come to market with something or come to market again with something that's going to be just an asset moving forward. I mean, this game has been kind of the same for a long time. So being able to step into the you know 2024 is going to be really really nice. Yeah, you did a great job of bringing us there. Turn up any 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 way we can take a selfie with with the app or no no selfies yeah. yet? You can take a <laughs> selfie, <laughs> but your surprise is going to be surprised. Yeah. Oh, there <laughs> okay. take yep. Here we go. Everybody get in here. All right, here we go. Oh, nice <laughs> job. Love it. Like I said, you can download right now from the App Store, yep. uh, install it, and, and the, the good part is is that we have more to come. Mm-hmm. This is yep. just the beginning. I, I think uh, as we look at our customer needs, we get more feedback, we want to you know do more. So if you do have any feedback for us, let us know. Put it in the comments below. Uh, tell us what features you like, what features you would like to see, and uh, we have the person here that can make that happen. So yeah. if we get some good feedback, uh, obviously we'll use that and give it right to Pranav to to kind of uh, make this app even better than it is. It's only just begun. Oh, oh, oh I, like that. That. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, yeah. I did. Well, thank you all so much for tuning in. We really appreciate Pranav coming on and joining us and just yeah. giving us a little bit more insight into the development of MyGage. But just remember one thing that's most important: keep it hot. Keep it real. Keep it real hot.